Welcome back chaps. We are at some Kanda Private Game Reserve, just over a thousand kilometers from East London SA, aka home. This stopover was recommended by fellow campers on one of our trips. When we heard they offered wild camping with no fencing and host a big five, we just had to camp here. Getting into the reserve, our experience was different to that at the national parks, and I can understand why. Being greeted with a mother rhino and a baby, security is paramount, but Rian helped us effortlessly and gave us a little rundown regarding the reserve, also giving us a spot to set up camp for the night, as the campsites were full and we could only wild camp tomorrow night. Anyway, I'm here with uh, Rian from Sumkanda, he's the manager, and he was friendly enough to help us at last minute getting us in here, and uh, absolute champion uh, they were fully booked you're friendly enough to let us put our rig up in between the cottages they've got plenty of other accommodation but i'll leave it you explain to us thank you so much no absolute pleasure first of all um yeah we've got three wild camps um which is lovely camps um all situated in different kind of areas so it gives you a different feeling of the camp itself um all unfenced i believe all unfenced camps outside with the big five in there with big five within the reserve so yeah, our last few guests being much drier here already, we've had some really good sightings um, and especially of all the campers because mm. they've been sitting in camp and things come along, you know, so that's mm. where they've been seeing it. So no, absolutely fantastic that part of it, self-drive so you can move a bit around yourself, which makes it, you know, adventurous at the same time. It's still very wild. So there's a lot of good roads. There's a lot of not so good roads. Yeah. So it gives you that part of where you can wow. explore and, yeah. and do it. Look, Northern Natal, game being. So um, on a, you know, on some days it feels like there's nothing around, but we've got 12,000 hectares, which we could probably traverse about four, 5,000 of if you're self-driving. And lodges, uh, you see you guys got some lodges here. How many lodges have you guys got? Yes, here? so we have the, the lodge accommodation here at the top as well, a self-catering um, kitchen area or down at the restaurant when we pre-organize that. Um, but we've got two family units and then four little standard rooms um, here at the top. We're gonna have a look at the, one of the cottages just now. We'll take a little walk through there, if that's okay with Ryan. Yeah, 100 Put it on, show you guys what it's like. And also cost-wise, you know, were, were the costies on the, on the cottages here? How does um, it work? Does it work per person, per unit? Yes, so it is per person. 900 Rand per person a night for mm -hmm. the for the lodge rooms. Okay. Um, and then 100 Rand conservation every per day, either camping or, okay. or from the lodge. And then our wild camps at the moment is 235 per person a day, plus 100 Rand conservation levy, a minimum of four packs. But that g does give you exclusive. Yes availability to that camp. Thank you very much for Absolute having us here pleasure. and again for your hospitality at no. last spur of the moment. So a quick little view of, uh, of the non-campsite camping for tonight. So this is the rig up here right next to the cottages and then um, oh, like I said they did say this is not a campsite but they're helping us out. But let me take you guys through to through the inside of these cottages. All right, so these are one of the cottages we are not staying in, but um, they are letting us use the bathroom. So. Really, really well worth it. And like I've mentioned, the staff here so far has only been helpful and exceptionally nice. And just down from the cottages, you've got a swimming pool here. Uh, nice lapa here. It's a convenial kitchen, which is uh, which they've also opened up for us to use for the evening. But you've got your indoor bra, you've got gas, you've got a nice big bra pit area, which we will definitely be using tonight. While sitting around the fire, talking about the beauty of the place, we heard this breaking of branches, a clear indicator of elephant eating, and I could not resist but to go closer, hoping to see something, and not even 50 meters from where we were sitting around our fireplace, this massive bull was gracefully munching away, not perturbed in the least with the audience. So for all the chaps and the mates that's out the country and family members, that is no better place than Africa.
having breakfast the next morning with the sun rising in our faces, we planned to drive to all three campsites, wanting to show you guys what to expect should you ever want to book here. This is our first morning at Sankanta. And then we've had our first inquisitive mammal coming to see what the rig looks like. Yeah, had, it looked like he was admiring the, the rig. <laughs> this, this one giraffe couldn't <clears throat> stop staring with his head bobbing from left to right. Not interested, the other one's carried on eating. But this I just couldn't, can't stop staring at it. Camp Marula was the first camp en route. So far a 4x4 is not needed, but I would suggest a high clearance vehicle. And keep in mind, the cell phone reception is not something to rely on either. Which again, is not a bad thing. Giving you a feeling of truly being disconnected from the world. Allowing you to take in all the peace and quiet the bush has to offer. Here's a Camp Marula. Just up the road from Scotia where we will be sleeping tonight. Nice level, there's grass. There's a bright area at the back. Shade over here. And uh, keep in mind, this is all unfenced bush camping. I know there is hot water here and there is uh, flush toilets so yeah, as you can see all over signs are up but where big five do roam around here and, uh... some bush deco this is quite classic not having much luck with sightings, we passed this huge male lion, fenced in because he is new blood and about to be introduced to the local pride. Now we have not seen any of the big five, but remember, these creatures has a playground of 12,000 hectare bush field, and uh, as per the norm, gravel travels are only here for a short while. After a not such a successful morning in the field, but super nice nevertheless, we wanted to get back to the main camp where a venison pie and yet some more picturesque views was awaiting us. So we're about, I would say about seven or eight kilometers from the reception area. And we got to campsite number two, which is called Tamboti. It's quite a big campsite. Uh, just what I meant to mention early on when we were at Marula, there's three campsites here, Marula, Tamboti and uh, Croatia, where we're going to tonight, obviously where we're staying over. You truly get the full bush experience alone in the bush. Plenty of space here, I reckon 25 people easy in here. Uh, it is big rig friendly, it's quite uh, shaded, level camping ground, a bright pits here. Got a nice little picnic area and sitting inside of the weather is a bit foul outside. Got washing up areas here. And then you have got two outside toilets. You've got an outside shower. There's two gas geysers with a spare gas cylinder. And uh, another shower over here. Absolutely fantastic. All in all, beautiful big campsite. But yeah, so this is the second campsite. Price is also all the same all around. So uh, this is our bush camp for the night. A quick little review regarding our campsite here. And again, we are not sponsored at all in any way. Campsite here is fairly level. Runs down this lot slope here, but under a beautiful big old tree. Uh, you've got a nice bright pit area here. Plenty of shade. There is no grass, it is beautifully raked ground. I think the idea is to get to the shower early, uh, not to take any chances. But yeah, so we've also been told that a mamba was seen here by last night campers, a black mamba in the shower. But yeah, so here's the outside outside toilet. Let's have a quick squeeze here. A loo with a view. Absolutely fantastic. So the Here's your outside shower. After enjoying our venison pie too much over lunchtime, Rian suggested we try these pre-packed bra packs for our bra tonight. 
also venison. I must say, chaps, even though our animal sightings were not what we hoped for, the camping and eating made up for it all tenfold. <laughs> in general, man. <laughs> Cheers. On a fantastic trip so far. Huge shout out to Rian and his wife for accommodating us on such short notice and giving us an opportunity to camp in this special reserve. Hope you guys enjoyed the time with us and like always, hope to see you guys out camping very soon. <laughs>